Just catching up on Emma. Really showing you guys my getting ready with me setup. Also, I'm listening to the new Sabrina Carpenter album. So good so far. A little bit annoying since I'm literally living out of one room, which is my bedroom. My desk is my desk and my vanity. So I have this like little elevated thing that I got from Ikea. This thing that I can just pick up and put wherever I decide to get ready. This I got off of Amazon. I'll try to link it in the description. It's amazing. You can change like the warmth or coolness of the lights. I don't know what the P stands for. Mine doesn't really do anything when I touch it. And then I just got this yesterday. It's one of those touch lights. I need to charge it. But it also does the same thing. You can adjust the coolness and it's just a good light to have here because when I don't have this on, I don't have any other lights here. So perfect and so fun. But yeah, I'm just getting ready. Good afternoon, Earthlings. I am all ready and I'm about to leave because guys, this will be kind of awkward if this particular person is watching this, but I'm going on a second date with someone, coffee date, and maybe something else that I'm not aware of yet. But so far, so good. I'm not gonna get into too many of the details, but I figured I'd take you along since I've been taking you along on my dating ventures. And it's another guy that I met through Hinge, even though I swore off Hinge, which is the only dating app I've ever been on. I've been on and off it for like a little over a year. Gone on some dates with people, but most of the people I've gone on dates with have been people that I either like indirectly knew from someone or knew and just happened to like match with on that. So this is the first time that it's a guy that like came out of left field. Hopefully that's the same. And I was like, he seems genuine, and he played along with my tough questions to like get to know him. If he was in it for the right reason, so I was like, you know what, whatever, let's give it a shot. So I'm giving him a chance, giving myself a chance, I guess, to see if we're compatible or if it could be anything. So yeah, that's where I'm heading. I have quite a drive. You know that coffee shop dates are my love language, coffee or brunch. I have been doing curls with my shark flex style, but it's supposed to be at least 80 this afternoon and those curls give me a lot of volume and I think I prefer the way they look, but I don't know if they hold through this heat because I did it one day in Arizona and it did not last very well. We're going with the good old flat iron curls road snack. I've been obsessed with the lesser evil popcorn and then these skinny dipped salted caramel cashews which are so good. All right now I'm actually gonna hit the road. I'm back! <laughs> Salt tire was back there. And look who's here! For once! Lainey's choosing to spend her Friday night with Lauren, us. I swear if this vlog has more videos of me eating cake and ice cream, I'm gonna <laughs> kill you. You knew what you were doing when you were creating that like content. Anyways, we're going to have hibachi later. We're running some errands. Uh, Whoa! God, you're not supposed to jump up. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> I'm talking about spell. <laughs> I'd like to take this moment get it, Bobby. to say that Bobby. I am really into my new Let's summer Fridays cherry lip gloss. <laughs> it's actually got color and it stays on pretty well. We're going into Target. Probably more opportunity for impulse buys. Ooh. Are we supposed to blow it out? No. Just gonna singe our shrimp. I did. I just pushed it off. Yeah. <laughs> Look how cute. Lenny's really trying to show out for the occasion. Can I like the no, I'm not done yet. Can I like They're the all different. Can I lick? lick These are off. so cute. Mom just said, "Can I lick?" <laughs> She's already going at it. Can I take a lick? No. I think I'm gonna do a sprinkle. They need some texture. Oh my gosh. I think you need to just call I think they're good. What do you think? Apparently Lainey dribbled butter the other night. Well, I was supposed to put, should I put and the maple syrup on the off. frosting that I was supposed to? This is our neighborhood cat. 
in the hot tub. And he gets in. You think he's thinking about it? I don't think he's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> if he smack, we don't get that. <laughs> Just good vibes. <laughs> My face is so small, I guess. None of these ever fit me. It's folded like twice under my chin. Not in our lifetime? Is that Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like that? I'm really scared, man. I don't know who that was. Travel sideways. I can't really move my mouth. Get your camera out. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I call good vibes. Having a detoxifying, de stress Burt's Bees face mask tea, which I cannot drink with this thing on me. And the new must favorite candle of my whole life Casey Musgraves Deeper Well. Hello and happy Saturday. I'm so excited I got this hat a few weekends ago and it's my wine and cheese hat and I just had to have it for anthropology. But last night was such a good time. I went straight from my little coffee date to said dinner. So I was on the go most of yesterday. I've been doing this new thing. Shout out to my cousin Emily and her husband Josh who I just was with in Arizona. They turn on like ambience every night while they're reading and sitting on the couch and so I've been doing that when I can't fall asleep at night so I did that last night and I woke up at like 5 in the morning to rain in a crackling fireplace and I was like what is going on but it was so peaceful so I had a good night of rest woke up did some editing and now my mom and I are about to take the dogs on a good walk See what else I get up to today. I think I'm going to dinner with my dad because my mom works, she works night shift as a nurse, and then my sister and her boyfriend have their own plans with friends who are in town. Christmas is coming. Well, I really started this clip because we just went to two different Starbucks. Because when I got pumpkin spice for the first time, there was a really nice girl working and she was like, do you want to try our new apple crisp non-dairy cream chai? And I was like, sure, twist my arm. She gave me a little tiny one. It was so good that I've been dreaming of it for four days. And I just convinced my dad to get coffee, and we went there, and they were out. So we went to another one, they were out. He said it's a nationwide thing. <sighs> yeah. I'm out. It's a little sad. Before I got a mini golden noodle, she was talking about trying to get a, what is it called? A bearded dragon. They cuddle, and they wave. <laughs> That one's stuck. We talked her into getting the mini golden new and stuff. Oh yeah. Alright, I haven't been here in a while. I had to get the steak. That's out of character. Just the salad. No truffle fries. Really good. Pizza is so big, you're not sure where to put it. Look at this. Hey. Put your hand up Be to nice. it for size reference. Check this out. Look. Look at that. Look. Hang on, watch this. This is my face. That's pretty crazy. Look. back from dinner and I'm in the middle of doing laundry and cleaning my bedroom at 11.15 p.m. at the same time, but I'm about to transform my junk desk drawer into a makeup drawer because my makeup and my desk 
are all the same thing and I use it the most storage wise for like products. I don't use like note cards and name badges very often. So I'm gonna transfer some of that stuff into my junk drawer and turn this main drawer here into makeup storage and I have a few extra of these too that I just got from Marshalls and then my everyday products in here. Not the most glamorous. We got her done. They weren't the right size to fit like long ways. I thought it could fit this thing in one of these, but I fit two of them. And here's like my face products into my eyeliners and stuff. And then back here is blush, brow gel, mascara, all that fun stuff. Got the palettes I've been wearing go-to's, go-to lip products lined up right here. This drawer is still a junk drawer, but now a desk stuff junk drawer. I do have another desk that's longer that I custom built at Ikea, but I'm not putting that in here until hopefully sometime soon I get my walls painted. It's a touchy subject, but I think this will be great to have in here instead of having to carry around this thing. Even though I love it and I'm gonna keep it, it just kind of has been sitting on the floor or like taking up half my desk for a while. Good morning, people. I am about ready to head over to my grandparents' house. We're having one last big summer blowout pool day at their house, and my aunt's making a bunch of fun little snacks, and it'll just be so great. I'm making big batch Aperol spritzes. That's my specialty. Yeah, literally only plans all day is to be by the pool, read, relax, have fun. Lainey and her boyfriend Elias are home and they're over there too, so it'll be fun. We're taking my poolside Aperol Spritz big batch. All right, normally I'm pretty good at just eyeballing this with like the Aperol and the Prosecco, but this recipe I found said for big batch, one cup of Aperol, which seems a little bit small for me. Woo! You know what? What the heck? Let's finish it out. Just a little bit left. One whole bottle of Prosecco. I've become quite a pro at popping bottles. Oh no, it might explode. It was just in my cooler. One can, my secret is to use a Spindrift Blood Orange Tangerine. Look at that, guys. Cheers. I don't Slice. Whoa. Slice and stuff with cheeses. <laughs> I literally went to my grandparents like 12.30 p.m. and I just got home and it's 7.30 p.m. So I was there for a long time and my grandma and I ended up taking naps in their living room. So that's where I was. Having a great time. We called it Pula Palooza 2024 because it may have been our last pool day. Like all out pool day, not just like we're gonna go chill by the pool type of day. It was so fun. I may or may not have taken a couple tequila shots and now I'm here I'm having some of our leftovers from Friday night watching some YouTube and you guys new Olipop flavor this is outstanding amazing 10 out of 10 so good it's the best.